Welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial Episode 57. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create publication quality maps with uh, multiple Earth Engine data layers. In episode uh, 50, 51, and 52, we already talked about how to create publication quality maps uh, with uh, Cato E. But in Loza 3 video, we only use one single uh, Earth Engine data layer. But sometimes it might be useful to create multiple data layers so as uh, to show multiple data layers on the map and so for example let me show you uh, a quick example that we're going to use here in this video you can create multiple data layer for example a raster data layer you can also have some uh, vector uh, boundary for example a swap file overlay on top of uh, um, on earth engine raster data layer you can also have color bar you can also customize uh, the projection for example like this so this is what we're going to uh, get at the end of uh, this video okay so let's get started first let's go to the website to download the novel example we're going to use here in this video uh, go to gmap.org and then click notebooks scroll down to find number 57 Cato e uh, blend and then upper right corner here you can click the download uh, icon to download this one to a computer i'm going to download to my uh, downloads directory and then you can open anaconda prompt or your windows uh, terminal so uh, because i'm on linux computer i can just right click and then open the terminal so from here we can activate the conda environment so uh, conda activate g and then just type jupyter notebook Okay, it should open a notebook on your browser. If it doesn't, you can click the link. So uh, it's open. Then just click the notebook to open the uh, Jupyter notebook uh, tutorial we're going to use here in this uh, video. So first of all, you need to make sure that you install uh, the packages. And this one here, we uh, also need the Kato Pi, and it's not uh, created by default. So uh, it's not a dependency of GMAP. So you need to install this one by yourself and this is the command line that you need to uh, install if you have it, have it, uh, difficulty you can look at my uh, previous video uh, i think uh, 50 51 52 all um, use the same conda environment so you can use that uh, if you want once you have installed the package uh, successfully and then you can uh, uh, follow this uh, video so first we're going to import all the libraries that we're going to use here in this video and also uh, the Cato Pi uh, CCRS are uh, the coordinate. So this is where we can customize uh, the projection. So you can just hit one. Uh, it's, uh, if you uh, do not install the uh, uh, packages successfully, then you might uh, not be able to import this one. So make sure that uh, you don't see any error messages uh, from here. After that, uh, this is what we're going to add here to add multiple data layers. Let me just run this one to show you the output. So basically, we are trying to load uh, multiple data layers. And the first one here, we are uh, using the Modis NDVI data layer. And we, we use a filter. And then we just select the first one, for example, uh, from 2018 April to May. And this is how we're going to visualize the data layer. And then you can add the data layer. The second one here is the uh, feature collection, a country. Um, and this is how we're going to visualize you can also see from this one here add data layer and this is using the vector uh, style so this is a visual collection visual collection you can use the style function to uh, style the function and, and you can pass in the the style so you can pass in the color uh, the width and the field color and so keep in mind the color is controlled by this uh, hex uh, digit uh, code so the first two is uh, red and then green and then blue the last two digit represent the opacity so if you t um zero zero means it's it's, uh, it's um not opaque so it's basically zero and then if you use uh, uh ff that means it's fully opaque um so you want to make if you want to change the opacity you can change control the color from here similar uh, similarly for the few colors so this is all you can uh, control and by default, this is what uh, it looks like, right? So you have two data layers. And once you have the two data layers, this one is the essential. So you need to combine these two data layers together. So the first one here is the image. 
okay so when you add the image right now we're using the visualization but in order to combine the two data layers together you need to use the doc visualize function so the visualize basically convert this one from the original data to just rgb so in that way the color is fixed right so you can use image doc visualize and then uh, the visualization parameters is the same one we use to visualize the data layer so and this one create the ndvi layer and the second one is once it becomes a uh, rgb image you can blend the rgb image with other ones so the second one here is the country the sweat body, right and then so we create a new layer so this new layer is named uh, blend so it blending means let's put two tail uh, layers together and here if you want you can click this one you should be able to see the data layer right so individually right this is just the ndvi the second one here is just the country um, boundary and the last one here right now we combine these two together so this is right now becomes a raster data layer and they can use this one to uh, basically when we are trying to use Cato EE to create a map it still was one layer but this layer is already a combination of multiple data layers so uh, basically you need to process the data layer in Earth engine and then once you get the layer then we can use this data layer to create um, a map okay so first let's create uh, the uh, the map with the default uh, projection so we can set a bounding box right so by default we're going to use this one here uh, basically uh, at the global scale but you can customize this one to a smaller one if you want so first we're going to just uh, use the bounding box and then you can create a figure so the figure uh, this is the size right so the uh, oh. horizontal and the vertical so the width and also the height then you can use the Cartel E module to get the map right so get map the first parameter here is the data layer so the uh, the blend data layer and the region uh, bounding box right so this is the bounding box we want if you change to a small one you can if you want to zoom in to a specific location then you can change the uh, bounding box we also add the color bar so yeah, as you can see here um the color bar is going to add to this map and we are going to use the same visualization parameters so the color bar is going to retrieve all the uh, color uh, palettes uh, from uh, from this one here from the the palette and also the minimum and also the maximum so uh, if we change the visualization parameters here this one is also going to change you can also customize uh, set a title right so the title is the one showing up here and also you can change the phone size if you want a large one you can do that as well and then you just display the map once you have the map you can right click and then you can save the image as so they can download this one to your computer if you want okay next you can change uh the uh the default the projection you can plot the map with uh um, other projection if you want and if you, you you can take a look at the uh, ccis the color pie the ccis has a number of projections you can choose from i think in the video uh in uh, number 50 51 we also uh, talk about how to create a map with multiple projections so you can look at this uh, video if you want so the next one here let me quickly execute this one and you should be able to see for example this is we're using the equal earth projection you can also set the central uh, longitude so this is by default using a negative 180 but you can change to any number uh, you want and the remaining lines are pretty much the same except that when you get the map uh, you can pass in the projection so this is the projection uh, that we we want to use and then the color bar everything else remain the same so all we need to just this line that you need to change to passing the projection argument that's it and similarly you can right click and then save image as right you can download this one to a computer and then you can uh, um, insert this one to your journal publication or uh, uh, kind of some kind of a report right so this is how you can create a map with multiple earth engine data layers as I showed you earlier here, you can customize the color. So for example, uh, if you want to change the color, let's say for the country boundary, you can do that. Uh, so all we need to do is just to come to here and for the color, they say we want um, red color for the boundary. You can certainly do that. So you can, for the red color, you'll be FF, right? So uh, RGB, FF, 
And for the fill color, you can also do this one. So the fill color, they say we want to fill the color with maybe uh, blue color. So you be this two, right? Blue color. And then this one is the opacity. So if you uh, zero zero makes going to be transparent. So similarly, you can put to maybe let's say uh, try maybe forty four, and let's see what happen, right? And let's run this one. All right, so you can see the blue color is not uh, very obvious because this uh, um, this one basically this number convert to uh, hex code and then divided by two fifty five and the percentage is the transparency. So if it change to fully o uh, opaque, so FF, then you're not going to see anything beneath uh, the map, right? So it's uh, totally blue color, right? So you don't want that because you want to see the vegetation. So Similarly, you can maybe try 88. Uh, this is just the half. So it's 50% transparent. And again, uh, it might not be ideal. So if you don't want that, you can just put to 0, 0. And then it will just show you the uh, red color boundary. And this might not be a good con uh, con contrast. You can also change the width. Right? So I can change it to maybe 2. Uh, it'll be a little bit thicker. So in this way, uh, it's more obvious, right? Uh, again, uh, you can fully customize the color. I can change this one to maybe just to uh, blue color. All right, so this is how you can customize. Once you have this, then you can just run this all together. Uh, you want to create a map. So I can just restart and run all together. Then it's going to create a new map with the new visualization parameters that I just uh, set. Right, So you can see from here. And you just need to save this one to your computer. That's it. Okay, so uh, that's all for this uh, video. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.